Hello everybody, welcome back to another Leonardo.ai video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use the Canvas or Beta Canvas AI editor tool and how to lengthen, widen, or even expand on an image that you've created. If you see this here, you'll see this cool looking, uh, you know, isometric perspective landscape -y type image. This is a community-based image. So you can do three things. You can upload your own image, so you can make something in mid-journey if you wanted to put it in Leonardo if you really want to, or you can use one of your own images you've created in Leonardo, or you can even use a community image. This is a community image. But here's the thing, it's not one image, it's three pieces. Look at this. It looks pretty good, right? But watch what happens when I click over here to my selection tool, and I click on this, and I zoom out, and I delete that. All of a sudden, the image is smaller, right? Look at that, I'm gonna delete that. This was the original image, and we created that other one using the tool. So let me show you how to do it. We're going to exit the editor and we're going to start from scratch. And again, this is the AI Canvas Beta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, and I'm going to, this works really good with landscaping. It doesn't work quite as good when you have like uh, a person or, or a character in it. it. It still works, but it's not as good. So let me just show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to search for something, you know, I'm just going to search for an isometric image. And let's see what we got here. This one looks pretty cool. Um, this one, 3D alien map of, okay, whatever. I mean, it's all good. Let's click on this one and use this one. Now, before I go in, the first thing you need to do is you need to copy the prompt. Again, I'm using a community image. You can use your own image. Just note that you do need to copy the prompt. Always need to copy the prompt. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little ellipses here, or the three dots, and you're going to see here I've got a few options. The one that I want is edit in Canvas. So off we go. And this was done using the fine-tuned Evolving Forest one. So the next step here is we're in the editor and you always get a square block. Now, depending on the size of the image that you're working on, you can go ahead and decrease the size of this block here, so this little square. So in this case, I'm gonna make it a big one, but if you had a really big image, you can go ahead and reduce the size as needed or increase it, depending on what you need. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I want a 1024 by 1024. So I want to basically fill this right side here and fill the bottom side in. Keep in mind that you want to keep some of this little square here. You wanna have it so that if you were building something on the outside, you wanna make sure that at least half or so is inside the current image. So, cause this is basically like content aware in Photoshop. So in this case, I'm gonna leave like pretty much the whole thing in just like this and I'm going to basically turn it into a 1024 by 1024. Now, remember when I copied the prompt, that was very, very important because I'm gonna Command V or Control V and copy it in here because you basically need to click Generate again and this is really all you need to do. When you do that, it takes a few seconds and you're going to get four potential candidates that you can then add to, expand, widen your image. So let's see what we get here. Might take a few more seconds. I just left the guidance scale and the step count and all that other stuff on regular. Make sure that you've got it select on your select tool. And here we go. So here we go. There we go. Bang. It's done. Like that is almost, that is literally perfect. Like let's, le let's see what else they had in mind. Also good, but not quite as good. You can see the little, you know, you can see the little dividing line there. Also good, but not bad, but not as good as the first one. Also good, but the first one is literally perfect. I can now just go ahead and accept this. And now I've got a 1024 by 1024 image that started out as a 512 by 512. I click on download the artwork and that's it guys. That's how you create and expand widen artwork using Leonardo.ai and its new amazing editor. Thanks for watching.